All right, let's take a look at the cash receipt screen. We'll uh, do a cash receipt on a couple invoices. I'm gonna go to transaction, accounts receivable, apply cash receipts. To add a new one, you can simply hit enter on your keyboard or you can click the add button with your mouse. The cash account, that'll be the default uh, checking account. You can switch that if you need to. Your adjustment account is the default adjustment account. If uh, you're not making any any adjustments, then you don't need to worry about it. The customer here is going to be either customer number or customer name. You can search by either. A reference number, it's gonna be your check number. The amount of the check. If you're using deposit slips, you can enter your deposit slip number. You'll have a transaction date. That's the posting date for the general ledger. If you hit enter, it'll put today's date in. And then you have a postmark date or a paid date. This is the date that discounts would be calculated upon. In this list here, this would be a list of open invoices, invoices that have a balance not equal to zero. You can manually select which invoices are being paid. There's also an auto match feature over on the right. If you click that button, it will run through the list of open invoices and try to find either one or several that exactly match the amount that's being paid. If I go ahead and click that button, it'll tell me that it found uh, multi uh, invoices and it's already moved them down to the bottom grid here. Notice at the bottom, there's, there's uh, three fields, an adjustment, discount, and applied amount. So it's applied the full balance, and my ending balance on both invoices is zero. Click the Save button to save this cash receipt. It'll, it'll notify you that the cash has been applied, and then it will start you back into the customer field so that you can enter your next cash receipt.